Alright, so welcome to episode 11 here of Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. We're in the ruins of Mazulft. We have about as much Dwemer metal as we can possibly carry, so at this point we're just looking for uh, soul gems and other shiny trinkets. Looks like whoever was here be- oh, that's very nice. Looks like whoever was here before us. Took care of a lot- oh. You're clever considering you can't see fireballs! It looks like the, uh, the Falmore have been duking it out here with the Dwemer Constructs. I would like to uh, be taking more of this Dwemer stuff, but we, we just don't have the carry weight. We are definitely taking all of these soul gems though. We do have a fresh set of um, armor currently have stored on with a stem bar there. We have uh, a full set of scale minus the helmet. Can we carry you? Yes, we can. Uh, we plan on leveling up our smithing so that we can... definitely can't carry that. Make a full set of Dwarven stuff for Stenvar and a full set of uh, Enchanted Improved scale for ourselves. We already have the base scale. Lots of gold on these guys. Lots of uh, soul gems on these. Definitely one in there, that's a lot of materials. Nice. Keep her out of the traps in here. Not sure what killed these, there is a lot of them in here. So nice. I think we have like uh, four or five greater soul gems now. I'm a dagger. Eh. What do we have in here? Looks like this is just a bench. Just a small room to sit within. And this must lead us deeper. We're going to obviously use the, um, the slightly lesser soul gems to enchant Stenbar's gear. And then we'll use the graders on our own. Ducking and dive in there while we're blinded. Oh, well, it's just twitching. It's a bug and its nerves are twitching. Um, don't need those. Not taking any chances with you. Denver, help. Save me. There's a bug. Then I think there are multiple bugs. Let's see, don't we, uh... Well, we will do what we can to, uh... throw down damage here with old Stenvar. Way, bug. Up the pooper. Knew there was a reason I liked you. We'll have to just wait a moment for my magic to come back so we can heal Stanvar before we proceed deeper within whatever hellhole it is we've found. Hopefully that'll be enough to uh, keep him going through the next engagement. More gold. We do have an absolute ton of gold now. Steel grid. So it would have been nice to find one of those for Stenvar a little while ago, but I think at this point we're... Uh, trap. Already been set off. Ooh, big claw. 
a little bit past steel for him. He's got that nice big orcish hammer. Oh, Synod. Oh. Yeah, I see you up there, Fal. Oh. I didn't see you. Let our magic return there while Stendlar strikes a, a brilliant pause without actually doing anything. You know, game, I don't think right now is when I could use a nap. I appreciate the thought and concern for my health, but I think we have slightly larger concerns like that one there. If you want to give me time to let my magic regen, that's fine. I'm all about it. Go, Stanbar. Psych. Kills deal. I don't think I want to take a basket of cheese that's been down here with... Uh... Oh, boy. Hopefully you can carry this. Down here with the Falmor. Sure, feel free to hand me all the gold you want. I mean, that is actually quite a valuable item. Lead on. Oh boy, another of the sin. How many of these guys died down here? Did they not send anyone who could like throw a fireball or cast a ward, see a trap, hire a Stenvar? That was a whiff. Did that thing just one-shot me? Yes, it did. Have one back. Much less impressive this time, Stenvar, buddy. Just a emergency first Don't aid there. Yeah. I would like you to have this staff sure. of fireballs. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. And apparently a steel sword. Because I can't bother to take it back. Um. You know what, sure. I don't know if he'll actually use any charge from that item, but I just, I really like the idea of Stenvar throwing fireballs. Oh yeah, I have a, um, a perk that adds to successive fire damage each time they get hit, that's right. Oh, Master. Don't like our chances here. We'll go till we have 10 lockpicks left, and then probably have to buy a bunch more of these in Riften. So close. Okay, well, I'm going to ignore my own thing there because we are super close. I wish there was an unlock spell in this game. Though in earlier successions of some of the Elder Scrolls games, you had uh, spells that could unlock. 
locks and uh, chests and things for you. There we are. So we did use quite a few of our lockpicks to get in here. So I hope it's worth it. Scroll of Bane of the Undead and a crappy ring. Ooh, and a spell tome. The Lunar Locum. Oh, it's just an alteration increase. Well, for a few lockpicks, I'll take a level in alteration. This ruin is absolutely huge. What's in here? Nope. We just uh, don't have many or any real lockpicks left. We need to save them. Stand well, buddy. Um. Not really sure what Stenvar's plan is here, but we're going to let him have it. Oh boy. Meanwhile, I guess we're being his distraction, but it worked. I mean, if he's going to keep that staff and be useful with it, he's welcome to have it. This is novice, so we should be okay. <laughs> oh, Stenvar, good buddy. Gonna need you to drop that dwarvish. Huh? Sure. Oh, that's Feel sorry. To gonna need you. Uh, you gonna need that from you, and I'm gonna give you that. Let's go. Let's indeed. I'm not going to tempt myself with anything else in this room. I'm just going to keep on walking. Okay. Don't know if you need any healing stand well, but uh, there we are. Something tells me this room is going to be dangerous. Please get out the great sword, Stenbar. Is it dead? Nope, it's not. Oh. Sorry. You okay, buddy? Okay, in we go. I hope we get to see the dwarves in their prime one day. You, buddy. Oh. oh, we just took a head injury, which means we're losing, uh, losing our magicka. Why 
Why do we have an ancient Nord Bowl? Okay, well, we can't actually cast any spells right now. So we are entirely reliant on our boy over there who just fell over. So for now we need to uh, up our healing to max so that we can start casting spells. Okay, good. He's still alive. I thought for a moment that thing had killed Stenvar. Oh, they have potions. That uh, poison, sorry. Um, nope. Go away. Stenvar, would you just either be useful or stay down, buddy? You're just gonna die. This is a mage duel to end all mage duels. As we stand and cast mediocre fire spells at each other. Although you have to like Stenvar's persistence. The guy is the guy is a trier. Points for effort, buddy. Points for effort. There we are. Just, um... Hope you feel better, buddy. Staff of Firebolts. Can't really afford to be taking staves and even weapons with me now. Just way too much stuff in here. I could come back here four and five times and fill my inventory easily. Looks like that's the way we go, so we're going to quickly check out these other quick corridors here. If this door's locked, we're going to walk away because we don't have many lockpicks. Yep, especially for a master. Same down here. It's locked, we walk away. I wish we had carry weight. <laughs> this place goes on for a while. Okay, now. Strategically placed corpses like this tend to indicate that a strong enemy will be behind the next door. I guess that was a strongish enemy. Looks like it was guarding a relic we hear. Yes. We will definitely be taking uh, ebony ore. Now we can't take any of these solid Dwemer uh, things. There is a bed here if we wanted to take a nap. No. Oh. Mine a helmet. Scroll of Chain Lightning, hell yes. Some Dwarven Arrows. And I guess that's all she wrote for this room. With I see it definitely, um... Definitely wishing he had uh, a couple of... A couple of extra hirelings to carry all of this stuff out for him. I guess up to the main room we go. Stand by. I brought you something. Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. Not quite. Let's go. Hope you like them. The rest will come soon. Uh, 
How did you get up here if you didn't have the key? Gavros, is that you? Not quite. Given up hope. Let me get the door. I didn't answer you, but okay. What the? What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? Uh, your friend Gavros is dead, actually. It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them! They've ruined everything. If Gavros is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. Uh, what's this about a crystal? It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold. The fun of killing something that doesn't well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. I haven't to have found a focusing crystal. You found... How in the world? That's it? That's it! I don't know who you are, but you may have just saved this little project. In fact, who are you anyway? I'm with the Mage's College in Winterhold, you know, actual wizards. You are, are you? Savos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you, but now you come here expecting something from me? I don't much like this, I'll tell you. But you saved my skin, so maybe I could overlook the past for now. Come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter what you said, this was my idea first. The Council is going to know that when I get back. Sure. I was the one who thought of using this, this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves called it. Something unpronounceable, I'm sure. Yeah, it seems about right. Research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the divine. This machinery, all of it, was designed to collect starlight. And then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? It was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystal. Months of enchantments went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. Fingers crossed. Because, um... I kind of need this to work. You walk very slowly. I'm just going to wait at the top. Wow, that's cool. Here it is. Magnificent, isn't it? Yes. It took an incredible amount of work to get it running again. Now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Me too. Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it. In, <clears throat> in here? Okay. <clears throat> Little lip there, you just got to jump your way out. Oh, books. None of that, I guess. Okay, let's... Do we just have to keep spinning this until it hits? Right, what exactly am I doing here? Is there another button? No, it's just this and that there. Need something. Uh, yeah, I need you to need stand away from the buttons. I'm just going to keep spinning these until something happens. And that way I can see the interaction and maybe discern what I'm doing here. I think I'm just literally spinning these until... Do I have to maybe interact with this again? No, I can't do anything with that, so I must just be spinning buttons for now. We're all gonna quickly eat while we sit and ponder this. It looks like that is literally just meant to be spinning, but I must be doing something wrong. 
took some of the Wemmer craftsmen a year to build one of those things. Okay, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. Keep spinning this for just a little while longer. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe these books kill me something. Uh, okay, not that one then. Maybe the single book. No, that's drama, history, and culture. if I line all three up. Huh. Let's go. I've legitimately never done these puzzles before, so well not this one that I remember. I think I've done the Majors College once before. And uh, that was a while ago. Yeah, no, that doesn't look to be it. Um, this puzzle's stupid. Um, you got any hints for me? What do I do? Now the crystal needs to be focused. It was created so far away. We knew that some adjustments would have to be made. Okay. Heating and cooling the crystal will cause it to expand or contract, which will change how the light passes through it. You'll need to use spells to do that. Oh. Being from the there should be a few basic tomes around here somewhere oh. in case your training is even more substantial. Oh. And um Bitch, I will cut you. Ah. Um. Nope. Ah, see, there we are. Now we've got it. Uh, I'll probably edit that down. I've just spent like 15, 20 minutes on this puzzle. Couple too many rotations on this disc for my liking. Middle two now. Finally going to pay off. What's this? These results, they're not at all what they should be. This projection should be lit up like the night sky. Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. Something in Winterhold, it looks like. Nope. Um. So what is it? What have you done? Did you know what we were attempting? Are you um. here to make sure your plan worked? That our efforts have been for nothing? Well, explain yourself. Was it not meant to do that? Go wrong? Go wrong? Everything is wrong. Everything. Whatever you have at that college has completely interfered with our work here. How did you do it? Um, I truly have no idea what you're Either talking you're about. Lying to me, or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful. 
beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? I'm not going to tell you that. So you do have something, then. Whether this was intentional or not, it suggests some interesting results. Uh, look, honestly, I'm in level. I'm looking for the Staff of Magnus. Can you help me or not? Yes, the Staff. Interesting. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Yes, I'm sure. Also, I doubt you would be able to comprehend the details. I'm going to kill you before have I leave. Have you seen the in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel. And then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. Okay. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. Sure. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. I only see one. One is your college. The other, well, that can only be Labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold. Despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies. I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. Sure. So fine. Trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over. I assure you. Now, I think from Matthias's perspective, this guy has, um, he's part of the organization that helped disband his. I think this is a very similar situation to Matthias's past, in which the Synod seeing another magical organization and seeing that they had a very easy way to stop them being in the way, reported them to uh, the Elder Council as being, you know, the Resurgent Mages Guild, and had them all killed. Now I think, um... I think I've discovered more... Your trickery won't confuse me. I don't intend to confuse you. And I think this is just a very small taste of revenge from Matthias. Very small, well-deserved revenge. The Synod will not ruin another organization. And they will not get their grubby little hands on more power that they can't and won't wield. They shout defense of the Empire this and defense of the Empire that. But all they are is more puppets to the Council and to the Thalma. Now I think that we're actually going to have to run all of the way out here. Check the local map. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be made to run all of the way out here. <laughs> so, um, I may skip through that for you. We'll see. Oh, and we're tired. So, yeah, I think we're just going to spend the night in the bed of the man we just murdered. And we'll, um, we'll pick this up next episode out front of Mazolt here. I'll see you then, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>